Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of New Vida Let's Talk. Today we have our special guest Juan and also one of our team members, Deshaun. Hey guys, and this is episode four, so we're in the barbershop. Hey Juanjo, why are we here? I mean, you guys brought me here. <laughs> so, so, yeah, well, to be honest, you brought us here. It's your spot. Yeah, it's my spot, man. Um, you know, Let's Dance Barbershop. Okay. Uh, I opened up with my business partner, Alan. He couldn't make it today, but I mean, next time, next time, next time, next time I'll you know try to get him out. But okay. um, how did it all start then? Honestly, man, like how I started, I'll, I'll start with um, how I started cutting hair. Okay. So I used to cut hair um, when I was fifteen, I believe. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen. I was cutting hair in my basement, my mom's basement actually. My brother, I, my <laughs> brother, one of my brothers was my first client to. Cut his hair. You remember that? Yo, I remember going to high school and I had a big star. Oh yeah. A big star. And like, I, the, the fade wasn't good. Oh, well, no, but the, 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 when I first started <laughs> cutting hair, I didn't know how to do designs, right? Yeah. I remember I drew with a pen on your head. Yeah. <laughs> no way. No, true. I drew with a pen on your head and I tried doing the, the star. It just follows the like, yeah, because, like a stencil, right? Yeah, because I didn't know what to do. Okay. And I remember I screwed it up a little bit. You know, yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. but I mean you have to screw up hair in order yeah. to Yeah. So I started there and then um I Honestly, I'm not a school guy. Yeah, yeah. So, you don't like it at all? No, 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 no. I don't like um, like books. I don't like reading. I don't yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not a school person. Like, I'm okay. more like, I like, I want, I'd rather see it. Yeah. And do everything hands on and like watch you, and then I'll learn. Okay. I feel, I feel, like, I feel like being your brother, you're, you're more artistic. That's like, right. Like, you no, like, that's like, right. You like, you like, like music, dancing, like even haircuts. It's yeah. like an art. It is. Good. It, it is. Because yeah. like, think about it. Every time you do a haircut on somebody, it's like you want to make them look the best. So it's like a piece of art, right? Yeah. You're like you're trying to perfect it. Yeah. Exactly. So, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So like, um, yeah. So when I started, it was just like, um, I, I wasn't really into barbering. I was just doing it for fun, just because I just wanna. The money was the money. Like a no, because I was just doing haircuts at that time. Oh yeah, that's true. And then I remember, money. like, I'm like, you know what? Why am I giving free haircuts? Why don't I just charge five bucks at least? Yeah. You know what I mean? I was just the beginning, right? Yeah. So I started charging five bucks. Okay. Everybody's getting haircuts for five bucks. They like it, and then they tell people word of mouth. And now people are like, yo, let me get a haircut from you, right? Exactly. No, maybe because it was five bucks. Ah. That's, 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 that's true. true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So then, after it went to ten bucks. Okay. And then it went to fifteen bucks. Okay. And then I was like, man, I'm making a hundred dollars and like. Five dollar bills. Yeah. How much? How, how much would it be if I do ten dollars? Okay. How much would it be in fifteen? Now I'm at twenty. I mean, hundred dollars is just four haircuts. No, yeah. five. Sorry. Five. Okay. 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 So now it's like now that I see the money's good. I see them getting clients. So yeah. I'm like, why not just uh set up a shop? Just start up a shop and try it. So you where know? where did you go? Like where was like kind of like your first like shop that you figured out? Like okay. I can well, do I went to school, right? So I yeah. went to Marbell School, and okay. then my boss, my ex boss at that time. Yeah. Tony? He he um he watched watching me because I was teaching a class okay. that how to how to fade and honestly I learned cutting hair from YouTube. Really? Nobody taught me how to cut. So hair. You, what do you say? YouTube is a good school because like honestly some honestly, people yeah, learn, some don't. people do learn from YouTube and yeah. I think that's like the YouTube schooling is like something we kind of forget about. Yeah, but, like you learn literally. like you can you can do if you want to do renovations yeah. you can learn from YouTube if you want to how to catch a fish YouTube too. That's true. And anything you can do is YouTube. So I learned <laughs> I, I put. Um, <laughs> Barber hair, how to cut or Asian hair, how to cut black hair, how to cut white hair. I've learned everything. Yeah. And then now I became a more diverse barber that I can cut anyone's hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just started YouTube, YouTube. And then I already knew how to cut before I went to school, but I need a license. Yeah. So I got that. Then my boss died and I first started working in Cherry Hall. Right. I remember. That's where we used to get our hair yeah. all the time. So old people, old yeah. people. And then honestly, the only reason why I stayed there for seven years is because of the people in their environment. It was just good. You like you, you, you enjoyed going to work? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's not it's not because cutting, it's because who you're working with. Yeah. So well, you, you did have a good team. Like I remember we used to go there to shop and we yeah. just chill. And it, it was just funny just sitting in the chairs because like, maybe we were there two hours and that did suck. But it'd be like you, we'd be hearing jokes from like this old man, this guy over here. So it was good. Like it was good. And I remember that time like uh, I had a, a coworker named Tony. Yeah, this dude, this dude is 70, he's an old school. Yeah. Like, you can come with your hair like this, man, and he will roast to you. He will be, <laughs> he will be like, why are you doing this haircut? Yeah. Why don't you look professional? Why don't you look, why are you getting a fade? You should get a number two. Yeah. Like, he, he goes, like, you can literally talk about anything. Yeah. Just open up, talk about anything. Because barbershop is more like a therapist kind of thing. As you said, remember when we were talking about it just before the podcast, you said, like, in reality, you want to get paid more in a way because, like, what, you do two jobs at once, No, right? for real, though. I do. I just have to get paid so more. Tell us about that. Yeah. I want to hear. About yeah, it. I want to go back. I want to go back. So, 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 I remember like, so you were cutting hair in the basement, 
Um, what made you want to like make that a profession? Like, what made you want to cut hair? This randomly, you, like, like honestly, I never thought it was gonna be a barber. Like, who who talked to you about that? Like, um, I had a barber that uh, really? I used to go to. Who? His name is Amando. Oh yeah. So no, he kind of talked me into it. So at first I was just kind of like, uh, maybe maybe you know, I'm just gonna do it just to see how it is. But then it started to get easier. I I see the money. I see. Like, I, 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 I can tell that you can be more social. Mm -hmm. And then once it starts, you know, so even though, in case you guys didn't know, I'm deaf, right? Okay. So, so like, I can't really hear. Okay, so this barbering helped me so much to be social, to yeah. talk to people, yeah. and, like, to, to like, try to be really focused on what I'm trying to say. You know yeah. what I mean? That's the only hard side. But yeah. it, other than that, it's, like, it's blessed, you do know? You th do you find it a challenge? Like it's a challenge, especially now with COVID, with everyone wearing masks. Okay. That's the hardest thing. It's hard to hear, right? Yeah, but you Not know, here, just like the, the lips, right? Yeah, the read lips. Yeah, because yeah, that's your best skill, right? It's like you yeah. see what the people are saying, you read the lips. Okay. Yeah. I, I so, didn't know that. That's... So, yo, so, so, I guess what made you, so you're working at Cherry Hill Mall. What made you click, yo, maybe I should do my own business? Yeah. I saw my clients growing. So, like, so like talk, talk about that. Talk about like the, the process from like when that changed. So, I, I was working there for seven years, right? Yeah. So, when you want to build a client, mm -hmm. you have to work. For a long time, in order you to gain clients, because that's the first step. Because I want to gain clients, I was work. I was uh, cutting hair in the basement in White Oaks, okay. and then I moved to uh, sure. High Park area, almost um like uh, up north. Yeah, yeah, I have nobody there. I gain clients there, so now I have clients in two spots: wow. White Oaks and um, More diverse, right? Yeah, with Cherry Hill Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got clients. I got clients. I got I built a relationship with clients, and then from there I realized that I'm like, man, like. Like, I remember I had to count the cash with my boss at that time, and I saw what I was making, uh, how many haircuts I'm doing. Yeah. And I'm like, really? I'm making this much, and I'm only gonna pay this but much? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like, okay, for example, we'll make it really small. I make, I pay, like, in haircuts, you do a thousand, but they're paying you $400. So you're like, so you're like, so, so basically, you, you were like, you were like, your clients were a majority of the money coming in? Yeah. So what percent would you say roughly? I probably say like fifty percent goes to the bottom. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's that a scam. No, 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 no. no, no. no. What, what, what percent of of the money coming in was your clients? That's what you're saying. Fifty percent. Money, yeah. Like, um, fifty percent. So like 50%. the half of the business was you. Yeah. Mine, and the other half was the That's bottom. Crazy. So I can see why he's That's like crazy. he's like. I might as well pick up shop and run it myself because he was doing it. It was his shop. At the end of the day, if, if you look at it, it was his shop. No, it wasn't his shop, but like if you're bringing that much clientele, it kind of switches the dynamic of like it's no longer the owners. It's like well, yeah, continue, con continue, oh, continue. So yeah, so I saw that and I'm like, why am I working here? Like why? Like I'm only working here just for the people I work with, yeah. but I'm not working there for myself because like yes, I make good money. Yeah. Okay, the tips were like. Like one of the amazing, things, right? Yeah. Okay. So like, if you gain like at least twenty bucks tips a day, let's say, and I work six times a week, I get, get one hundred twenty a week, just on tips. But obviously, tips, tips is like I work for my tips because that's um that's why I use daily, you know. That's so, like the gratitude, I think. Would you would you say like that's like the appreciation where it's like I tip you because like uh, I don't know, tips are weird. The you know? No, it's not you know weird. Like, no, at the end of the day, a tip. Like, I feel like when you, when, you, when you have a barber experience, you have yeah. a relationship. Yeah. You're like, oh, how was your, your last month? You know, you haven't been here in two, three weeks. What's new? Like, you're always catching up with your clients where, like, a tip is, like, it's, like, it's that service. Like it's a gesture like, almost, It's a right? service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like, you have an experience. Like, yeah. A good experience. Not only do you look fucking good when you leave the barbershop, but, like, you had also a good time. had a good, good time. Talk. I get you. I get you. So, I get you on that. Okay. Deserving of a tip. Yeah, yeah. And I see that, too, right? And it's like... How do you guys feel about tips? So like, like kind of like off topic, but like honestly, I, I don't, I don't mind tips. I mean, if I have a great time, I, I'm a good tipper. You know? Yeah, like if I have a bad time, time but like, and... that's the truth though. Like, if you're if you have a bad time, you think your tips are impacted that way also? Depends on the like, like if, if the bad, ah, I don't know. Right, that's, that's because, because right, the bad time is very obvious. Like, like if someone's having like if someone's giving a bad service because they're stressed, and I can tell that they're stressed and it's yeah. super busy, I'll like still tip because of the environment. But if like we're empty and you're being like. Like rude, and you're not being nice with your service, and I'm, you know you're not getting no tip. Yeah. You what know do you mean? think? Yeah, we haven't talked to you too much. So, what's your thoughts? Well, on like getting tip or like getting just in general, what's your thoughts on like the conversations? Like, do you think tips? Like, for example, like we were talking about tips. It's like okay, service. So, what would you? What's your thoughts on tipping service? Yeah, I, like I actually know this guy who do Uber. I've been actually getting surprisingly. I think they it's been increasing. Like there'll be weeks where I'll be getting like two hundred or fifty dollars tip. 
an Uber, like an unpopular thing. Like, yeah, there's eight dollars. Some people tip eight dollars. Some people tip twenty dollars. I start to like key in as well onto like because you, you're seeing so many people a day. Yeah. I, I see like when I look at life, I'm looking at it as a story mode. If you do this, there's a direct action. You'll get a result. Yeah. I'm talking to these people. Okay. Boom. Oh, I just talked to this guy. Oh, boom. He just tipped. He told me he did this, this, this. I, I see where I'm dropping them off. I see where I'm picking them up. It almost unlocks like a, a whole another pathway, at least in life that I'm looking at. Like, okay, wow, like that's almost like I, I can pick off of the, the the positivity of seeing what what like cause and reaction that cause and reaction. I, I can key on some of those things. And what I've noticed from the tip as well is that a lot of the times the, the people who are tipping are generally creating conversation. They're happy. They're 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 not very quiet. Like the ones I find that are quiet. You know what I mean? And if there's a pot, there's a like a correlation. Yo, there's a correlation. Yo, do you find that? That's like, like, true. like super the true. customers you talk to, the ones who talk more, are they tipping more? Or, or like like if, um, if you're a quiet customer, do you tip less? Or what, what do you find? Yeah, is that um that's a good question. To be honest with you, there's people that don't tip. Yeah. In general. In general, there's people that do tip. But do you, I'm saying like you, when do you, you get hurt by it? Like, does it bug you? No, I know, that's a personal question, but like, it's true. Cause like, I'm not gonna, like, no. I don't, I don't know how I feel because I've never been in a position where I receive tips. So I want to ask, like, does it bug you if you don't get a tip? Loki, in a way, yeah, because I'm um, literally like, when I give a haircut, I give you uh, my, my 110%. Okay. Okay. So like, I, I give, I do, I do my time, do things. Yeah. Even if it's like a dollar tip, that is appreciation. That's it's like, just something. Thank right? you. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But sometimes you get people that, that just don't tip. And imagine you don't, you get four people in a row that don't tip, or five people in a row that tip, and you live for your for your tip. It breaks you down. Do you think you're like? Then I, they, yeah. Do you they, think it affects you mentally? Because like, I kind of no, 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 no. I'll yeah, just, I'll yeah, just, yeah, I'll, that's getting. Well, I just want to ask because like. <laughs> I don't know, there's like, I don't know, because for some people, like, you know what I mean? Some people could get really affected. As you said, there's like, you have five people that didn't tip you, and then now you build, like, maybe a conscious about it. It's like, oh, no one wants to tip me, you know what I mean? And then yeah. like, I think at the end of the day, if you're giving good service, you're going to get your tips. Good tip, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, 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 that's okay. But yo, but, but, to, but to bring it back, like, so was it hard to start a business? Was it hard? Like, so the second you're like, okay, I'm making more money, I'm making, I'm bringing a lot of money, like, like, was it hard to, to legalize a business, make a business and all that? Or yeah, the steps. Because you have a partner, right? So Yeah, my business partner. Um, Well, talking about my business partner. Yeah. So he was working with me in Cherry Hill at that time. Yeah. And know. I saw his work. He's amazing. Amazing with beers. Amazing with bass. Like, he's a good, he's a good fiber. Yeah. The reason why me and him work out so well, because he's very financially very professional yeah i'm a joker i like to joke about i'm a client person you're a social guy so yeah so you're, it blends in well you know what i mean but if you have two guys that are, are serious serious it's they're gonna be a fight if yeah. you have a guy that's joking joking the business is not gonna do good yeah so you gotta have you gotta balance that out yeah you know what i mean you so once, perfect, right? exactly so that's why me and him we, we work out and that's of course business partner there'll be days that you have an argument there'll be days that but that's normal it's like but um so with him like i saw his work and i told him hey yo um I'm leaving here soon. I'm gonna open up my own shop. And he was like, "Yo, um, I want to open up a shop too." I'm like, "You want to open up together?" So, so now I was like, "Okay, um, like why not? Cool." I went to his house, got to meet him. And I'm like a religious person too. Like, yeah. I tried to be, and I saw I saw his family, I saw his house, I saw how he is, and you could tell he's a good person. And I knew right off the bat that this is a good guy. He's not gonna he's not gonna screw you over. You yeah, yeah. So um, so we talked about that, and we both were not scared because my clients were were there. Yeah, they're, they're your uh, team. Clients. They're like your and team. And he has clients. Yeah. So, what's there to lose? Nothing. Well, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, you know what? Like, sometimes you just got to take a step in life. Like, where don't don't hesitate. Don't pass back. Just go for it. When you know, you know. Just go. And then that's what that's what happened. So, so then I knew that it was going to... I knew I was going to do good. I yeah. know how I am. Yeah. I know how he is. And then we just built it. And from there, we went up. And we're here now. We're here now. And it's yeah, crazy because yeah. you remember like that just when he was saying what he said, it's like it always goes back to like me and you always talk. It's like that one line, it's like one put in chaos and one in order. And I feel like that's their relationship. Mm -hmm. They have that chaos and order, you know what I mean? Like, and that first step was like, okay, we're going to be in chaos because we don't know if we're going to be able to pay the bills. But then somehow the order comes in and the bills are getting paid, clientele are coming up and not a business is working, right? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the biggest difference that you find owning a business instead of you like a, uh, uh, working for someone like, oh, what, like what's the no what's the biggest difference in regards to like like first let's start with what sucks what sucks to be honest like, like what do you mean what sucks like um, like, like like um like 
Is it harder to own your own business? What sucks about owning your business? Obviously paying the bills. So, so, that, so like, you know, but, yeah, but explain that. But yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, um, is, there, is there a lot of money going through? Like, is it tough? Honestly, um, I'm making more money, obviously, than working for myself. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm getting my what I'm making. Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving a percentage to, to my boss at that time. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, um, the only hardest part thing is, like, like when it's a slow day, like, don't don't stress about it. Like, because it could be another day. Like, COVID, for example, that screwed a lot of business up. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, at the first year... We were killing it, amazing. Yeah. Second year, COVID, we got locked down. We came back, not too many people came because they're scared. Yeah. Locked down again, okay. and then locked down again. We got three lockdowns, right? It's probably stressful. Yeah. yeah so at that time, I was kind of like, oh, yo, what's going on? Like, how, how was that? How are we gonna pay my rent? How, that's what I was gonna ask you next. So like, how's it meant? Like, what was your thought? Like, was it hard to kind of like think, okay, am I gonna pay my bills? Did that like yeah, did well, that affect you? Lucky, we, lucky, Canada had a government business grant, and that's like. What literally just kept us going because if we didn't have that, yeah. uh, we'd we'll probably close right now. Really? Yeah, because so. it was that bad. So now, now we're back at it. Yes, it's a little slow, but it's getting better. Yeah. Restrictions are getting better, like you know. So we're, we're getting better than that. Okay. But um, that's probably my the most stressing part about owning the business because I've never thought there was gonna be a pandemic. Yeah, that stopped you know I mean? everything. Yeah. yeah. So that's like that's probably my the one issue that we were telling me the. What's the best part now? Let's like let's get away from the shitty part. What's the best part now? I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. No, but straight up, but straight up though. Like okay, okay. I can now, do whatever I want. Okay. I can come in whenever I want. Uh-huh. I can leave whenever I want. Yeah. Like nobody tells me to do. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like um, the, and like every every money that I'm making, it's to me. It's to me and my business partner split fifty fifty. It's it's perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like like honestly, it's like. It's like I can I can do whatever I want. If I want to put a pool table here, I can put a pool table. If I want to put video games, I can put video games. So yeah. now it's like it's not like I'm listening to someone because I don't like when people tell me what to do. Yeah. It's like now I'm doing what I want to do. Okay. That's that's the best part about it. That's and it's fun. It's fun because now I want to go to work because yeah. I want to make money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, you want to make your business better. Right? Exactly. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So like um, and at the end of the day, my goal is to expand. I have two shops. So whatever that's you this thanks if I can lateral um. Okay, what would it take for me to get hired at your shop, right? Like not in the honestly, not me, but like you. Right. No, you can't be. Hired. I, I probably can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like I'm a good worker, but not for you. <laughs> but no, seriously. So let's say one guy walks in. How do I get? How do I get hired at your shop? Well, the first thing I'll let him do is uh, I'll tell him to bring um, um, anybody. Yeah. Cut his hair for free. Yeah. And I just want to watch him. Yeah. I want to see his work. Okay. If it needs work, we can teach him. But if it's um, if you can just tell that he doesn't know what he's doing, then I probably win it. Also, the first impression, how he talks to clients, how he, how he approached you, how you know your first impression. Yeah. You know how they say when you go to an interview, you want to dress to look good. Dress impressed. Yeah. So dress to impress. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first thing. I'm, look, is he is he does he look professional? Is yeah. he is he um, you know what I mean? Is his mindset there? You know what yeah. I mean? Because being a barber is like, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard finding barbers because. Barbers like to jump on different barbers. You yeah. know what I mean? It's hard to have a barber to stick with you for over seven years. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the thing is, um, even being a barber, like for me as a fifteen years experience, man, like I'm at a point right now where like I'm like, ah oh, damn, I'm tired. Like good just cutting hair. You can't stop though. But you can't no, stop. Yo, you sound you sound like uh, you sound like Shaq. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> like, why, why? No, why? it's like, like 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 someone who wants to retire. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, I wanna get I just wanna Collect my reins and just chill, right? Yeah, like I'm at the point, but you know, but at the end of the day, like I like talking to my clients. Like my clients are chill, they're cool. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Right. I, I don't know you. You like? Well, I'm, I'm your client. client. That's what I'm gonna say. Like Yo, I, I was the right first client. Look at this. First client. Look at this thing. Finally yeah. there. Just yeah, that's there. right. <laughs> but yo, um, so what made you want to call this blessed hands? Yeah, that's a good one. Wow, wow. You, yo, you got these questions, eh? Every question. I know. That's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. No, I feel like I've been personal attack by that question. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no, what made you want to call it best hand? Like, why? To be honest, um, because... Um, I love the name. I love it. Yeah, no, no the reason why I named blessed hand is because, like, you know how I can't hear and stuff? Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of like I don't have my ears, but I got my hands. Whoa. So so I thank God for my hands, and then I talk. I told my business partner Alan, "Yo, what do you think about blessed hands?" And him, knowing that he's a religious person, yeah. he it clicked right away from him. And we we both like we liked it a lot. Yeah. So I came up with that name because of that reason. 
And I feel like, because I have a gift, I have a talent, God gave me, gave me my hands. That's sick, yeah. man. I gotta give you that. And it's sick because like when you ask me, like, yo, where did you get your haircut? Oh, bless me. Bless hands. hands. It's like they, they right. bless me. They bless me, right? Every time we yeah. leave. As you said before, it's like looking like a piece of art. I'm blessed every time I leave here. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey, buddy. So are you. With, uh, in what sense? Just any thoughts. Like, what's your thoughts? Like, you did doing Uber. Right? Would you would you ever like it's a weird question, but I wanna know, would you ever do like your own taxi service, right? Like think of what Juan said, right? He worked for someone, he did this, he's like, Okay, I'm not making the money that I normally would make, right? But I could make this much. Would you do the same thing for well, taxes? With Uber is a little different. It's just like because technically it, there's it's it's weird because also it's like yes I am working for Uber, but at the same time Uber is also a public company. So I can buy stock and I'm technically buying into public. yourself, yeah. Yes. And also that it it, it was more so the, like, that's why I named my business uh, DBT Origins. DBT, what does that mean? This is my initials, the beginning. Okay. Basically because it's started something new. Basically that's, Uber gave you this, gave me the status to go read taxes, go read um, everything. Where I'm, before I was an employee for someone else getting paid uh, wages, which is fair, like what I'm doing now is the same thing. But at now I'm, I look at, I'm looking, I'm not looking at it like, oh, I'm just working my time, trade time for money. I'm investing right now. I, I know there's a correlation. I know maybe I'm. I know I, I can make a hundred bucks an hour if I, if I wanted to, but I know that there's also some sacrifice needed to get that kind of stability needed, the foundation. So if I invest X amount of hours now, and I'll have a return in the future. So with Uber, I found it gave me that independence to really even look at, at business in a sense of like now I have the ability to. Like you said, it's in your hands. You know what I mean? Like mm. you kind of like probably the same thing. It's like if I put in X amount of hours, I can work, get more money, and then mm. also can I can invest that money in the way I wanted to. Where before it's kind of like I'm just working for a paycheck, and usually you're you're gonna have to talk to someone. Oh, I need if you want to get overtime, can I can I can I work extra shifts? Can I? And then I, I found myself because <clears throat> I'm the type to. When I'm working, my head's down. I'm just doing my thing. I get, I almost get in like a, like a, I lock in a zone. I'm not there, pleasing anyone, talking to like. Sometimes I get too focused where I'm not really like hoorah, like let's go team. I'm working, like I'm working. So, a lot of times I found, especially with working for other companies, it's like the hoorahs are the promotion guys. It is true. It the is promotion true. people are like in those type of businesses. Hoorah, like they meant, but at the end of the day, they all wanted to delegate the hard work. Which is like, but I feel like for you, like it's like Uber is like not even like 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 it's not even your like serious thing. You know what I mean? Like like, like in regards to like you telling to build an Uber company, and no, I, Shams, I, I, I don't know, but I'm saying like I feel like the is like already into other companies, building yeah. his own stuff, his own thing. Like Uber is just like his way of like, lateral movement. You know, am I right or wrong? Like I'm not. Like, like Uber is your side thing. I think anything. Yeah, it's not not even like it's my side. Thing. Like yes, it is. It's right now. It pays the bills. So that's I'm, what I mean. Though. And, and, and I, more than anything is like, especially because I'm doing it in Ottawa. Like uh, the amount of people I get in the car, or people I like, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping people. Off, I'm dropping people off that are going to meetings with Trudeau. Yeah. Like after they leave my car, they're going to talk to the pre the prime minister. Yeah. Where, where, where else would I have the, the freedom combo? Like, like it's you're, you're, <laughs> like you're more, more than anything you're just saying is like you're actually getting those connections that you probably never would ever get. Exactly, and like like I said before, it's like a roadmap. So I add that it's almost like have you ever played? You know it. Yeah, you know. Asian Empire. Yeah, the map starts bro. dark, and the more you send out scouts, the map you see everything. Up. You see everything. You a see connection. That's everything. what a connection is basically. In but yo, apps. talking about connections, talking about like connections, like. How important is like the people you know, like your network? Like I'll start, I start with Juan, and I'll go down the line. But for you, for you, like connections, your network. How important is that for you? Like knowing other people. Oh, it's blessed, honestly. Tell, tell me about this. Tell me. It's so blessed. Like as a barber, you cut lawyers, you cut police, you cut business owners, you cut uh, restaurant owners, you cut everyone. Like right now, like, I always get free fries. I remember we used to get free fries at the mall. Oh yeah, free fries. Oh, for me, free fries. Yeah, because yeah, so me and my mom that. would walk in the mall. The guy's like, "Oh, that's Juan's mom and brother. Give him free fries." Just because yeah. he cut his hair. I remember this. Like, you yeah. told me this story. Yeah. Yeah. Just... But continue, continue. Yeah, yeah like free fries. <laughs> 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 you know, that's just a start, right? Exactly. Yeah. Also, start. Like, like um, like I have a guy that does my oil change, and he he comes he comes he does a uh, house call oil change. Really? So he comes to me and he gives me a discount. Uh, I get discounts from clothing store people that work at Nike. You know, it's like remember like, the one we were talking about where like you had to do the floor pan just from you like literally having a barber shop. 
He had to get a floor plan done. He was telling me, he had, literally a guy that he cuts the hair does a floor plan. Yeah, we, that's we, crazy. Uh, that's yeah. connections right there, if anything. Yeah, like we, we we're gonna open up a new store, yeah. you know, me and Alan. Okay. And uh, we talking about, we needed a floor plan and then one of our clients was, he does floor plan yeah. and he did it for us. And he did it for us just to do it. He didn't want to try to do anything. It's like, it's like the connection that yeah. people appreciate what you do in order for you to get connections, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's not only down, like even when they said I went to the club, yeah. uh, the bouncers that I cut, they let me in. I don't have to wait in line. Yeah. <laughs> like, like there's so many, so, so many, you're part, you're so part many of the benefits. Kind of city. Yeah, you're part uh, of I the can't be. They know him, they know him. It's corner of the street. Yeah, I can't you're be. They run the city, they run right? the city. Yeah, so so like it's like, I know I know people. Like I, like, yeah. I know a lot of people. Yeah. I, and like one time, um, a guy would be like, um, yo, um, I, want, I need help for renovation. I put his business card, in uh, in my in my station, yeah. people look at it, take it. I got him a connection through my shop to for him to get a job. Yeah, and his connections like you used word of mouth, so like it's so it benefits me a lot, yeah. like, big time. Okay. Like, I guess what about you? Like, like how does that work work for you? you By the way, this is Pumbaa. Pumba. This is Pumbaa. Yeah, this is Pumbaa. Security dog. Yeah, 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 about yeah. coming up in here in the dark. Let them barber shop. Deal with this pit bull, yo. But yeah, no. For me, like I don't know. You guys know me. I've always been business kind of idea. Like me, like I, you know me. I'm like a social butterfly in the essence of like. Whoa. Sorry about that. Oh, but as a, <laughs> Instagram opened up on the phone, but like, no, in, in serious, no, like, let's, if, we, if we go back, if we go back to what we were saying, like, in reality, it's like, I've always been about connections. You guys laugh about that, eh? The phone's brewing and everything. But no, but like, in serious, like, if we go back to what we were saying, it's like, for me, I've always been based off connections. Like, you've known how many people have we met that, like, for example, I used to go to club all the time. And I would just walk in, and I got lucky off that. It's just through the connection to the internet, known, talk to, and everything like that. It's just like, as you said, it's like when you provide someone a service and you give them essentially what they want, which is like at the end of the day, it's like that's what a service is: one to two, right? I give you one, you give me two, and then that's what kind of my relationships were built off of. And in the end, that's kind of what made me like really successful in a lot of the things I did. Because, for example, like. We go back to like little things like I got my roof fixed. I paid half the price because I knew the guy who did roofing. You know what I mean? If I went to a company, I would have paid double the price. But since I knew the guys who did it, I was able to kind of cut that corner, right? So that's where I benefited out of like connections. And I see it. What about, what about you? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm the same way as you. As this, and I'm also like, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in, in just like, like I said, like religious, yes. Like I like, People I surround myself with, I want them to be so steadfast in what they do that it almost like I can trust what they say as authentic, so that verifies instantly as as as, as the truth for someone. If it's true to someone, it's true to me. I can at least navigate better, and especially especially nowadays too, it's in the unknown. Like I, I like pushing myself to the unknown, and when I have a group of people around me who are so uh, secure in what they do. It, it makes me like almost like I know my 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 exits are covered. My mm-hmm. my 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 my. You know what I mean? People are cutting. I know they're like I know someone's there. To You're not worried about your back. Yeah, or even like if someone else can cover up or something like that. Like mm-hmm. I'm always able to do the best version of me based off of being around people who are doing the same as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like especially with the connections is is big for me is because when. You have connections it almost gives you an insight like of wow like no that that's possible okay like you know what i mean like the guy i was talking to um like i said i just dropped off trudeau like to the prime minister he's going to the cabinet meeting the guy talking to trudeau or a trudeau in the <laughs> <laughs> well, technically he's the, he's the no i'm just i just i just, I just want to talk to no no the thing is i just want to <laughs> and my question is like no, we gotta we gotta think because remember it's the audience right so we gotta think what the audience would ask like was it trudeau's man or was it well he was the he was the durham the durham and scarborough whatever it is i don't know prime not prime minister but what is it uh member of parliament so like you know when you go to the House of Commons, he had one of those seats in the House of Commons where he's there. He, if you really want to, you can stand up and speak. Okay. But he actually went to Carlton and he took the same program as me. Kind of same thing. He's like, oh, I didn't want to finish. I just finished it, and he ended up. He's just said, yeah, I kind of just ended up going that route from there. But like, also advice of like, well, what should I do? Because like I've been pu- putting off my, I would say, finishing my degree, even though I like. Cause I don't, I didn't think I would be useful. Like, why am I gonna use this degree? What am I gonna do? Like, they came in with like, 
for background for the viewers, I, I take uh, sociology at Carleton. Yeah. And like they came in, the, the like people working with the sociology department, they said, oh, this is the job you can get from having that degree. I actually make more right now doing Uber. Like I could potentially make it more money in the year by just doing Uber for like three months. Doing that whole time, and I'm like, I oh, like, I'm just doing spreadsheets. I'm like, oh, that, that makes sense. Like, I'm gonna invest so much money and stuff into the degree to go back and basically be like. But there's other benefits. I got it, but like, what I'm getting from these connections is that it's the character building of just. Yeah. What about you? So, like, what, what about us? What about you, though? What about like connections? Because you, bro, you got some good connections, especially going to Queens. That yeah. was a good builder for you. So, well, like, connections is everything. 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 Connect, it, like it's better than a resume. Like you think you think you have to go like to school and do all this. Like I'm not saying that's bad. What I'm saying is that connections will take you further than all that. You know what I mean? If you know the right people, they'll get you in the right places if you're determined. So like make sure you talk to people. Make sure you're not scared to like you know ask people questions. If if someone wants to like I'll tell you the perfect example. I don't even care. Like I I, I always wanted to get into like real estate investing, like flipping houses and stuff like that, renovating houses. Yeah. So my one friend Jeremy. He was doing this for like the last two, three years. Mm. So I followed him the whole time. Just watch. I, I'm watching him, I'm watching him. All his stories, I'm sending him messages. I'm following him, following him. Where to, to the point, to the point where I made that connection. I made the connection because I, I bugged him so much. You know what I mean? I bugged him so much. I'm like, yo, like, what are you, what are you up to nowadays? How are you doing this? Well, we made this connection. Now I'm, like, I'm in his mastermind. You know what I mean? But like the point is like connections is everything. Absolutely everything. Like, and the thing is like, you gotta think about this. You're gonna, from the day you, you're born to the day you die, you're gonna talk to people. Right now, there's, there's a lot of us here. You know, Juan's fiance is here, Brandon's here, there's all people here. Yeah, this is all connections. This is all like vibing off one another. So at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. I, I, and like you said, I think connection with the right people is important. Mm -hmm. Because I remember this saying that someone told me, like if you if you hang with a bunch of friends and you're the smartest one in that group, you're hanging with the wrong person. That's a bad thing, right? Yeah, I've heard that too. Because you always want to, um, like, connect with someone that's smarter than you. That's smarter than you, so you learn. You you learn. But if you just hang out with friends that don't know nothing, where are you gonna go? What you're gonna learn? Right? Yo, yo, so, they, they say you you know little kids, yeah. little kids. The reason why they can speak is because when we first when we first start to talk to them, we challenge them off the beginning. We're like, hi, how are you? They're like, what the fuck do you, are they saying? But like, we're, 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 we're No, we're, no, no, keep going on this. This is good, I like this. But we're, 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 but we're, ch <laughs> no, keep going, this is actually good one. But we're, but we're challenging them. Yeah. To the point where it's like, hi, how are you? We're challenging them. We can't, we can't dumb it down. The, the point where the little kids, we're always challenging them. We're talking faster and faster. Man, they can learn 10 languages in two years because you're always challenging them. Like you, like you said, like you said, with, with all your friends, if you're the smartest out of the whole group, who's challenging you? Yeah, no one. How are you growing? How are you learning? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you got, you got to network is everything. How do you guys feel about that, like choosing friends? Has it been harder? Like, and I want to ask this as a serious question. Has it been harder as we get older, right? Like, all of us, we're pushing our 30s so It's It's easier as you get older. Dude. But is it, because, is it easier because, like, you kind of figure out what you can't stand, in a way, right? Like, it's... I think it's maturity, growing up. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Let's go. So you're just maturity, right? Like it's yeah, like I just think it's maturity. I, I, I feel like like when you grow up and you start to like, when you get past a certain age and you start to question stuff and you start to look even deeper, like 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 I'm religious, right? Like yeah. so so I, I pray a lot. So like I, I look deep, really deep, and like that maturity brings me to like to like not worry about like kind of like stupidness. Yeah. I'm more focus on like growing. Like who am I? What can I provide to this world? You know what I mean? Like the entire like, thing. Like if, if, about, if, right? if I'm here, if I'm not living my best life. Then, then, then I'm just being comfortable. I'm, 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 I'm not doing what God wants me to do. If, if I'm living my best life, yeah. it's, it's not to be selfish. No, it's to give more. Yeah. It's to, to, to have communities be you guys. You know what I mean? Pe pe people have that misconception. You know, you make a lot of money, you're greedy. It's the opposite. You make a lot of money, you give more. More, fact. You know, if if, if, if you're not, if you're not though, I, I know, I know, I know. Right? know but, but let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, you're, let's say you, you're, you're not making a lot of money, but you have a lot of potential. But you're being lazy. That, 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 that's, that's not what God. That's not what God wants. That's a bad. That's a bad. That's a bad. You know what I mean? Because you got you got you got to do what, what everything you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, and I get that. You. No, you. What's your thoughts on it? Well, on like, friends? No, just like the whole idea of like yeah. So for, let's start friends. What do you think of like the idea of when you choose friends? Is it easier or harder now? Um, I'm I'm agreeing with everything you said. Like, yeah. um, 
like you said, you get older, you mature more, yeah. you know who your friends are, you know what's good, you know what's bad, yeah. you know what to be around, what not to be around. So I think it's just, um, when you get older, just common sense, like, like who you choose, who you choose your friends, you yeah. know what I mean? Sure. So I think, I think it's like maturity is definitely one of them. Yeah. And it's just like, um, it's just knowing the common sense of like, like I said, like what's good and what's bad. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, like same thing as like, as time goes on too, I would say the biggest thing is I become more aware of myself. Oh, uh, so that's kind of deep. No, <laughs> like, no, like, no straight up, like, like, like you know no, who you, 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 you know who you saw. You like, no, no, but, but, but I feel like we can all relate to this. He yeah. said, he said, when the older you get, the more you can become friends with yourself. You know, yeah. what I mean? so go talk, keep on going, keep on Cause like, yeah, I, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 as a, as a kid, you get challenged. Like at least me growing up, especially because like. I don't know, like in my history, I would I would say like I would get in trouble a lot, and it wasn't because I was doing something wrong. Like it's hard because yo, like, come on, not maybe I was doing something wrong. Yo, hold up, but like, Pause. like for like especially the more the more I grew, not that I was doing something wrong. It was that I wasn't it wasn't maybe like same example was a lot of the stuff they said was like I found trouble for disrespecting authority. Today I learned in the podcast that authority is something that is like if I if I'm doing something and others will follow me. That's that's authority. What I was doing was respecting power. Power is set upon you, and like, oh, you're my teacher. I'm, I'm th- this is what you say. Yeah. And I was, I didn't, I, I was too young to articulate how I thought it because at the end of the day, it's, it's intention. Like, if I'm going to sit, like, say for example, you go into a store and there's like, okay, I know it's a bad example, but like when you're a kid, <laughs> a kid takes something yeah. when he's hungry and he takes food. Yes, technically he's stealing, but at the same time he's. In his mind, that's not a bad example. It's rationality. It's rationality, though. It's 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 it's, in, it's, it's intent. Like, men's, like you want to go by the legal term, it's mens rea. It's what is the, what is what is, what is your For the mens rea is like intent. Like if you, that's the difference between, between first degree murder and manslaughter. It's fine. Explain, explain that well. Explain that well. We're well. fighting. Yeah. And I say I'm gonna kill. You. Okay. I, I have the intent. Okay. To do harm, that's when it becomes a murder. Yeah. So that would, just, would that be mens rea then, or no? Mens rea is just the, the, that term of being the intent. Was there intent behind the, of the crime that's being committed? Okay. 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 I just wanted to, I just want the audience to be able to understand. That's that. what. That's what. Like, especially with like religious sides, is you want to be childlike. I I think that is as is because intent is a kid doesn't intend to hurt people. A kid doesn't really. They don't. Yeah, they're they're they still no learning. Motives. They're no, learning. Yeah. They're learning, and they're 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 socially, and they put stuff out, and they get response, and they grow from there. Yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess um, like, like last question. What, what do you do to like, uh, for, for your mental health and your physical health? Like, because obviously work can get stressful, right? Like, what do you do to cope with that? Honestly, my mentality is um, leave each, leave, live each day like it's your last day. Because like, honestly, like I don't, like just don't care. Don't care. Like just <laughs> don't care. No, no like what do you mean when you say don't care? care. Like, like you just like explain, 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 explain me. Meaning like, like, like just think positive. Mm-hmm. Don't care. Like positive if, vibes if, only, right? If it's a bad day, if I only have one client the whole day, okay. Like think positive. Another day will be better. Don't bring that negative energy. Bring you down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like I, I joke about it a lot. Like I, I like you're joking about like that. Funny yeah, guy. you know, you're funny guy. You know what I mean? Like someone like like the only reason why I'm a, like a, a nice. Someone to talk to, someone, someone to hang out with, because like you can roast me, and I don't care because it's I, I don't let anything attack me. I don't let anything like hurt me because I because I'm just like um I'm just a positive guy. I'm yeah. just thinking positive. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So my mentality is like live each day like just last day because you never know, and like that's why each day I wake up, I thank God for another day, and go on. You know what I mean? If something negative happens, okay, so be it. So what's, what's the worst can happen? Yeah. If it, if it goes worse and it's worse and it's worse, okay. You're still waiting just, for just change the mindset. You're still waiting for that good day because you know it's gonna happen, right? No, I know it will happen. Yeah. That's the mentality. You can't say I'm hoping to happen. You say you I know it will happen. Facts. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, like, like for example, like um, like I always wanted to like for example with my my fiance for example. Okay. Jeez. I wanted I wanted to like. Like I want to find a girl that's there for me, right? That, that's gonna do the things that I always wanted to do. Yeah. And I know I'm gonna find that person. I'm not gonna be like, oh, uh, uh, no. I know I will find it. And next thing you know, I found it. Boom. So you, whatever you put out there, out there, it'll the find you. You grab it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's that's the way I see it. So like right now, I'm just like, 
Like living each day like my last day, just enjoying it, enjoy the moment. You're killing Live the moment. You're killing it. If you want to check out my barber shop, go to at Blessed Hands, at underscore Blessed Hands. I don't know what it is, but just right here, right Hands. We'll do it right here. Brandon, you do that. Just so you guys know also, that's why my hair is long. Right here? Like, I refuse okay. to get my hair cut anymore. We'll check it out. <laughs> uh, I'm out in full clothes tomorrow for holidays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His family did that. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's it. Theo, thank, no, thank you for being done. on the podcast. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, boss. Well, Sean, good long time. Boom, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you again in two weeks. Oh,